Missing Abuja Copper found DEAD. Hello everyone, you're welcome to the news. A National Youth Service Corps member, Stephanie Terungua, who was declared missing in Abuja, has been found to have passed on. The microbiology graduate who was said to have gone missing on 14th April 2022 lived in Lokogoma area of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. She left her house fully kitted in her NYSC uniform. The uncle of the deceased in a Facebook post said the deceased was abducted with a baby, but her baby was later found. Our correspondent found out that her corpse was found on Wednesday in Meitama area of Abuja. The SUG public relations officer Zaki Christian in a statement on Thursday said her body was found lifeless murdered in a core uniform with her vital, vital organs removed. Relevant tests confirmed deformed corpse is hers. The Student Union Government SUG of her alma mater demands for justice for the deceased. If you've been following this information when it was declared that this mother of one little baby who is a core member serving the National Youth Service Corps in Abuja went missing but the, late, the baby was later found days after. after. But um, unfortunately, when the decomposed body of the mother was found, it was discovered that you know the, the main organs in her body have been harvested. And this is something that is happening right in the town of Abuja, not even you know in an outskirt or in the bush. And this begs the question to say, how safe are we in Nigeria? Considering the fact that she was even, you know, kitted in her NYFC of in her NYFC outfit. Before now, whenever you wherever you go wearing your NYFC outfit, there's a kind of regard that is given to you. You know that you're you're doing your service to the nation. You're even accorded respect. You know, but unfortunately, this mother won't went out with her baby. If she had gone out alone, it would have been a case of okay, whatever, whatever. But thank God, at least the baby was, you know, was released and was not deleted. This is one of the very heartbreaking stories that we hear every day of how, you know, the female life is endangered in Nigeria. Look at the, the way a promising and ambitious young woman who has done everything possible to go to school, done everything possible to serve a nation in NYC, and who went out on a particular day with her baby and... At last, she wasn't, you know, alive to tell her story. Who would have done this to Stephanie, the beautiful young lady who was just going about her life, doing what she's supposed to do to keep her life, you know, better than it was. This is quite heartbreaking because Meitama, where her body was found, is a central part of Abuja. So it's quite scary that people are not even safe. And this is the Federal Capital Territory that is considered or was considered to be one of the safest states you can live in Nigeria without any fear of insecurity. May the soul of the beautiful late COP member, Stephanie, rest in perfect peace. We don't know if security operatives will take measures to find out who the um, people behind this are. Are they the bandits? Are they the terrorists? Are they robbers are they family members that she know is there a connivance we honestly cannot answer the question and so many um deletion happens without you know finding out and investigating what really went wrong this is indeed very very sad and in fact young ladies lives are not safe in nigeria as it used to be if this is happening in, in the right in the town center of our federal capital territory abuja then where exactly is safe in our country? May our soul find rest and may God protect our baby, a little baby she left behind. This sad tale is what gives, you know, a lot of sadness when one thinks about what is happening in our beloved Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Like I always say, 
God bless Nigeria. I'll see you in the next news. Bye for now.